Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I built this hardwood cutting board on Data It Yourself. All right, so I was going through my scrap pile, and I found these pieces of black walnut. They're only about a half inch thick, but they're about an inch and a half tall. And then these pieces of maple, which are about an inch and then this big honking piece of cherry right here. I think I'm gonna make an attempt at my first cutting board. So, it'll be a little thin. I think it'll only be about an inch thick, maybe seven eighths. I think it's a good start. What I need to do is cut this and maybe rip it in half so I can get a thinner piece out of it or something to that effect. So next day, out of the clamps, this is pretty smooth here, straight across. Got to scrape that glue off, and then flip this over. Let's see, quite the difference there. I probably could have done a better job of ripping these down so they were closer, but I think my planer's going to take care of that. Let's scrape the glue off, and then maybe cut these ends off. A little bit square so that I don't have to plane wood that's not going to be there anyways. And then we'll start running this thing through the planer. Well, that came out really nice. A little bit of snipe here, but I think we can sand that out good. Got a couple of worm holes. So we're going to fill those with some star bond and hit it with some activator and then uh, start worrying about the chamfer. So I'm going to use the router table to put a chamfer on this. I'm going to put a large 5 8 chamfer on the bottom and then just a small, probably a quarter inch chamfer on the top to ease these edges over. Remember when using the router table, it's always lumber to the left. If you're using a hand router, you do router to the right. Another hint is always do your end grain first. So if you have any chip out at the end, when you come along this other edge with the grain, it'll clean that chip out off. So I'm going to start sanding this board at 120 and then stepping up to 220 and maybe even 320. Got some pencil marks on here to make sure I'm sanding in an even pattern.
So I'm going to water pop this real quick uh, to get that last little bit of fur off of it. Um, it's super smooth at 220. So let's let this dry a little bit and then we'll sand it one more time and get it ready for oil. All right, time for oil. I'm going to be using walrus oil. It's 100% food grade safe. Uh, coconut oil beeswax. I actually won this in a giveaway. I have never used it before, so this ought to be fun. I got the oil on both sides and it really makes those colors pop, doesn't it? So it says to let this dry between 12 and 24 hours. So I'm gonna let it sit in this heated room for a while and see how it does. Alrighty, so that oil has had a chance to soak in and it is silky smooth. Got some board butter here from Georgia Workshop. Thanks guys for that. So we're gonna buff this in now. This project was a lot of fun to do, and any beginning woodworker could probably tackle it in a weekend. If you have any questions or comments, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.